Hi, I'm Mike, Pokey Tips Mike, and today is probably one of the biggest days we've ever had in the whole entire history of Pokemon. So, not only is the Isle of Armor DLC coming out, but we just got this brand new Pokemon Presents. About 10 minutes of new Pokemon information, and what did they reveal to us? Four new Pokemon games. So before I jump into all my Isle of Armor coverage breaking down everything, let's talk about these new Pokemon games. So first things first, we gotta talk about Pokemon Smile. This was the game that surprised me the most. I was expecting a lot going into this Pokemon Presents, but I was not expecting Pokemon Brush Your Teeth. Ugh, I was drinking an energy drink before and now I've got minty toothpaste in my mouth. Not a good combo, don't try it. So what is Pokemon Smile? Well, Pokemon Smile is an app that you could download on both iOS or Android, and it's basically designed to encourage kids to brush their teeth. Basically, the game here has you brushing your teeth on an AR camera, and then once you do a good job brushing your teeth, you're able to catch the Pokemon. It sounds kind of goofy, and I know for the majority of people watching this, this is not going to be the main thing that gets you excited here, but for parents that have a tough time getting their kids to brush their teeth, I guess this is kind of cute. Pokemon lately has seemed like they really want to encourage good hygiene, good habits, Pokemon Go gets everybody walking around. There was that game Pokemon Sleep they announced a year ago that we haven't heard anything about, but apparently that was supposed to like encourage good sleeping habits, and now we have Pokemon Brush Your Teeth. It's actually available right now if you want to go ahead and give it a try. Since I'm recording this directly after they announce the game, I don't see it on the App Store yet, but give it a few hours, it'll show up on there. Now next, we had a game announced called Pokemon Cafe Mix, which is a pretty interesting Pokemon puzzle game. Now this is going to be available on both the Nintendo Switch and mobile. Basically, the premise of the game is this. You're the owner of a new Pokemon cafe, and you're trying to become one of the biggest cafes in the whole entire world. Pokemon come to your cafe and order some food or drinks, and you fulfill those orders by completing puzzle games. Then if you do a good job, some of the Pokemon customers that you have might eventually decide to join your cafe and work for you, and they all have little specialties that help you complete puzzles in different ways. Then from there, you can expand your cafe, make it bigger, which in turn gives you a bigger menu and makes more Pokemon come to your cafe. So if you like puzzle games just to pass the time like Candy Crush or the old Pokemon Truzzy game for Nintendo DS, you might actually enjoy this. I'm pretty happy that this is going to be a game that's available on your phone, because I could totally see myself pulling this out when I'm bored and just swiping around and completing some Pokemon puzzles. Because, you know, games are honestly a lot more fun when you have Pokemon involved. As for a release date, we don't currently know. I see some sources online saying that it might come out next week, and when I get an update on that, I'll make a community post and also put it down in the description so you guys will know when this is out. Now third, and this one is huge, Pokemon Snap, the Nintendo 64 game, is finally getting a sequel coming to Nintendo Switch. I honestly never thought I would see the day. Here in the United States, this game came out almost 21 years ago, so I totally thought by now this whole thing was cancelled, never to be seen again. So this game here is going to be called New Pokemon Snap, and I have to say, from what we've seen so far in the trailers, this game looks beautiful. For those of you that haven't played Pokemon Snap or just don't know what it is, because it's a pretty old game, basically, you played as a boy named Todd Snap, and Professor Oak called you to a place called Pokemon Island, where you rode around in a little buggy taking pictures of Pokemon in their natural habitats. There were lots of different environments and special little easter eggs that you could do to trigger certain Pokemon events, so the game was really enjoyed by lots of people that played it back in the day. There weren't that many levels in the original game, but it had a lot of good replayability because you could go through the levels and find Pokemon that you didn't originally see there before, or even get pictures of Pokemon at different angles, and also do certain events to get certain Pokemon like Gyarados to appear. What I'm really wondering is how many Pokemon are going to be in New Pokemon Snap? The original for Nintendo 64, I believe according to this article I'm reading over here, only had 63 of the original 151 Pokemon in it, so it didn't have all the Pokemon in it. But from the trailer that we saw for new Pokemon Snap, it seems to have a decent variety of Pokemon from all the regions. Right at the beginning, you see a massive Waylord, you see a Pikachu, Crab Brawler on the beach, Zangoose, Torterra later on, and lots of beautiful pictures hung up on a wall, so I really think there's going to be a pretty good variety of Pokemon in this game. I know a lot of fans have been waiting so long for this, so I can't wait to see how good it's going to be when it finally comes out on the Switch. Once again, we don't have a release date for this game yet, but once we get one, I'll let you know. And finally, last but not least, we had a secret Pokemon project announced at the end of the trailer. Now, 
Now the presenter, Mr. Ishihara, was very secretive about this title. He described it as a big project that they're working on, and he didn't want to give us any details for it this week. However, next week on the 24th, they're going to do another Pokemon Presents, where they're going to spill the beans on what this big project is. So from here on out, I'm going to make a few assumptions about what this big project could be. And again, I could be totally wrong. So take this with a grain of salt. Since they're describing it as a big project and using it as the main hook to get us to tune in next week, I could only assume that this is going to be a new Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. We know we have the Isle of Armor coming out today, an update for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and the Crown Tundra is coming out in November, but after that we really don't have any timeline of what the next big main series Pokemon game is for the Switch. So I feel like there's two games it really could be. One, Sinnoh Region Remakes, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remakes for the Nintendo Switch, or two, Johto Region Remakes. Maybe Pokemon Let's Go Johto Edition. Now I know Masuda said a couple months back there weren't any more Let's Go games in the works, but the Let's Go series sold pretty well, so it wouldn't surprise me if at the time he just didn't want to say anything on it or if they bring it back. While I was watching the Pokemon Presents, I couldn't help but notice all the cool Pokemon merchandise Ishihara had behind him, and if you take a close look at all the stuff behind him, there's a lot of Johto Pokemon figures there. You see Lugia, Ho-Oh, Typhlosion, Feraligatr, Entei, Raikou, and Suicune, and then down below in front of the Let's Go games, we see Umbreon and Espeon, and in the top left corner, we see Politoed, Pseudowoodo, and Ampharos. There are a few Pokemon from other regions in this picture too, like plenty of Pikachus, a Slowpoke, Lapras, and the Galar region starters, but overall, there's more Johto region Pokemon in the background shot of this picture than any other region. It just makes me wonder, maybe this could be a little Easter egg to what they're announcing next week, a Johto game for the Switch. We know Game Freak loves their little Pokemon Easter eggs, they always have an Easter egg to the next Pokemon game hidden somewhere in their current Pokemon title, and maybe this could be their way of saying Johto's coming next. Although honestly, I would much rather see Sinnoh Region remakes. We haven't gotten a new Sinnoh Region Pokemon game since 2009 with Pokemon Platinum, so I think it's time. It's definitely time to bring those over to the Switch. But once again, this is just speculation. Maybe for all we know, it could be Pokemon Sleep because that game got announced, but we haven't heard anything about it since. Either way, we have another big Pokemon reveal coming next week, and I couldn't be more excited. So my friends, down in the comment section below, let me know which one of these Pokemon games you're the most excited for, and also, what do you think the fourth big Pokemon title that we're going to have revealed next week is going to be. Johto games, Sinnoh games, or something else? Let me know. My friends, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.